Carrietta, are you there? It's time for our FaceTime dinner. Just because you're locked in your closet praying doesn't mean we can't spend a little quality time together. I'm here, Mama. I can't believe I even allowed these demonic contraptions in my home. They're called smartphones, Mama, and everybody has one. Yes. Well, you're a woman now. And in light of this end of days plague and quarantine, I have decided to make this one exception. Thank you, Mama. It's actually been a blessing. I can attend church services online, uh, spread the gospel to my classmates via text messages, and I recently discovered a website called latingods.com, which has me frequently dropping to my knees to praise the glory of Jesus. Uh, I mean, Jesus. You're finally learning Latin. Praise be. But let me just say that the fact that these products are made by a company called Apple is not lost on me. The same thing that tempted Eve. Okay, Mama, I think the audience gets why we're on cell phones. Can we please move on? <laughs> and Eve was weak. Eve was weak. Oh, God, here we go. Carrie, you haven't touched your apple cake. I made it with Clorox because President Trump says it might cure this evil virus. Gives me throat blisters, Mama. Throat blisters are the Lord's way of chastising you. I've been invited to the prom. Prom? Yes, the senior prom. Tommy Ross invited me. He's gorgeous. He kind of looks like a cross between a young Robert Plant and the guy who played the greatest American hero. I shall Google both of them after dinner. They're having the prom on Zoom this year because of... Teen pregnancies? No, because of... Drunk driving? No, if you just let me finish, it's because of... Those revealing prom dresses that more often than not shamelessly reveal a young lady's ankles? Because of coronavirus! They're having the prom on Zoom because of coronavirus. Oh, well, you're not going. Um, no one is going. We just sit in our rooms alone and pretend we're there. While a DJ plays crappy music, people dance in front of a bedsheet, and the feed keeps freezing. Wait a minute. Are we talking about prom or a digital brunch here? Snap. Snap. They're all gonna cough on you. They're all gonna cough on you. Nobody's gonna cough on me. I will be in my room. <gasps> Look at the mask Tommy sent me. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah. I might have known it would be red. It's pink, Mama. Are you colorblind? I can see your dirty pillows. <laughs> Everyone. Will. Sorry. It's a little hard to do laundry when you're locked in the closet. <laughs> Besides, you put all the bleach in my apple cake. Call back. Somebody posted a meme saying that this virus was just a hoax to keep God-fearing people like me from being able to attend church. And I liked it. I liked it! Are you having a stroke? Please see that I'm not like you, Mama. What are you going on about, Carrie? All the kids think I'm funny. Nobody thinks you're funny. I don't want to be funny. I want to be normal. Why would anyone want to be normal? I want to start and try and be a whole person before it's too late for me. I want to be different than you, Mama. You know, blend my makeup, <laughs> learn my lyrics. Carrie, as Drag Race fans say, I just spilled the tea. You didn't spill the tea, you flung it in my face. And I liked it. I liked it. I'm wetter than RuPaul when a big fracking check comes in. <laughs> do you really think that was a good idea? What do you mean? 
I have telekinesis, bitch. <laughs> Splashing hot tea in my face is about as smart as trying to wrestle the last biscuit away from Darien Lake. Okay. I can handle the occasional vulgarity like the B word and even a good fracking joke about Mama Roo. But drag on drag body shaming is something I will not tolerate. Now you take that back, you anorexic scarecrow. <laughs> I'm going to the prom, Mama, and you can't stop me. And things are gonna change around here. What? You're gonna start hitting the notes when you sing? <laughs> At least I don't use a coffee filter on my Instagram pics. The, the library, library is open. <laughs> Damn, this was just getting good. That's probably my gym teacher, Miss Collins. I told her to call to get your permission about prom. <laughs> Billy Nolan, why are you calling me? Oh, hey, how you doing? My girlfriend Chris Hagginson told me to call. To apologize? No, 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 no. To say, up your nose with the rubber hose. Okay, that's Vinnie Barbarino from Welcome Back, Carter. Google it. All right, all right, all right. Hey, would you just watch the hair? That's Tony Manero from Saturday Night Fever. Google it. Um, you know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in Paris? That's Vincent Vega in Pulp Fiction. Okay, even I knew that. Please just say a line from Carrie so we can move on. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, bite the weenie, Riz. Danny Zuko, Reese. Hey, dude, can I suck your dick? Okay, now that's just you in every steam room you've been in, Miss Travolta. Do us a favor and just put your slutty girlfriend Chris on the phone so we can have a meta moment where I play both characters, please. That Carrie White sure is cute. How can you expect to win with her on the team? You eat shit! Uh, Billy! Wow. I mean, was that really even worth the wig change? Right? Am I right? That must be my gym teacher, Miss Collins, calling to get your permission. Or to ask me out on a date. Everybody knows that single female physical education teachers are total dykes. I can hear you. And I wouldn't date you if you were Billie Jean King on a Harley Davidson. I can smell the dirty roadhouse of whiskey on your breath. Oh no, it's actually this amazing white Zinfandel. <laughs> These are godless times. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Miss Collins, my mama's ready to get permission for me to attend cyber prom. Because if she doesn't, I told her I'm going to impale her with 27 <laughs> kitchen utensils in a doorway and burn the house down. Have a good time, honey. <laughs> Mrs. White, you have nothing to worry about. Thanks to coronavirus, Carrie will be at home enjoying the prom from the safety of her bedroom. It's like being on Mars. And the good news is, Carrie will be named prom queen. Yay! But what will I wear? <laughs> Word, this thing, yeah. The bad news is that after being named prom queen, You'll have a bunch of mean comments dumped upon you, causing you to freak out and destroy the hard drives of everyone attending prom on their computers or iPads. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. It's really the best way to handle things right now. Yes, we should all stay home, practice social distancing, and wear a mask if we venture out for essentials. Essentials? You mean like Gideon Bibles, hundreds of votive candles, and extra straight hair frizz lotion? Um, do I need to be here for this? Bye, Carrie. See you at the prom. Knock them dead. Get it? Dead. Thanks, Miss Collins. Thanks, Mama. Love you. Well, that's it. It's all over. I mean, you can tell by the music. That's the end.
God damn it, I fucking fall for that every time.